Let's go to the next topic, tides. So what is a tide? It is basically rise and fall of the sea level. It occurs once or twice in a day. And the reason behind that is due to the attraction of the sun and the moon. Now I'll explain how tides work. There are many factors that are involved in creating a tide. However, three of them are important. They are the sun, the moon and the earth. All these three huge bodies have different gravitational pull, which creates a tide in the ocean. But in general, if you see the study of tides, it is a very complex subject. You know, it's very confusing. Anyhow, as I said, the three major factors involved in creating tide are the moon, the earth and the sun. And the gravitational pull of all three bodies creates tide. As we know that the earth is quite larger than the moon. That's why the moon orbits around the earth. But then if you see, the earth is smaller than the sun. The sun is enormous. That's why the entire solar system revolves around the sun. That means smaller bodies orbit around the larger one because the larger body exerts a gravitational pull on the smaller one. I hope so far it's clear. Now imagine this is Earth. The moon is right above it. Both Earth and the moon will exert some gravitational pull. Now we know that everything on Earth is grounded and it is because of the gravitational pull of the Earth. For example, you and I are standing. If we jump, we will fall back to the same place. If you drop a light feather, it will fall due to the Earth's gravitational pull. Now when it comes to ocean, water is fluid and fluids move more easily. So when water on earth in a particular region, if it is directly beneath the moon, then the water gets pulled by the gravitational force towards the moon. And that creates a bulge, meaning a tide on the surface of the ocean. And on the other side of the earth, there is another bulge in the ocean water. And this happens because this side of the water is further away from the moon and the centrifugal force that counterbalances gravity on earth. So there are two tidal bulges that are created on opposite sides of the earth. One is due to the moon's gravitational force and the other is due to the centrifugal force of the earth. If you don't know what is centrifugal force, I'll just tell you quickly. Imagine gravity as a rope that pulls everything to the center of the earth. And centrifugal force is the outward force that counterbalances the gravity. Anyhow, you just need to remember that there are two tidal bulges on opposite sides of the earth. And both the side of the earth where there is bulges, you will find high tide. And on the side that is right angle to the moon, you will have low tide. It is a bit confusing, right? But that's how it is. Now this all happens only when there is moon and the earth. What about the sun? As I said, the sun is bigger than all the celestial bodies in a solar system. That means the sun will exert more gravitational pull and it has influences on the tides as well. However, the sun's gravitational pull can do two things. Either it will increase the moon's gravitational pull on earth or it will diminish the moon's gravitational pull on earth. When the earth, the moon and the sun are in a straight line, the sun is behind the moon. Therefore, it enhances moon's gravitational pull and that creates much higher tides. They are called spring tide. But when the sun and the moon is at right angle, the sun diminishes the gravitational pull of the moon on earth and that creates low tides. They are called neap tides. So this is how tides are formed.